Fencing is described by some as combat in ballet. Others call it physical chess. Sword in hand and clad in white, two combatants face each other and fight at close quarters. Fencing is a combination of motion and stillness, firmness and tenderness, wit and bravery. The light foil, the fierce epée, the saber combining slash and thrust. These are the three forms of Olympic fencing. Around the world, people are fascinated by the legendary story of the swordsman Zorro. In China, the sword is hailed as the king of knives. In history, Shang Zhuang and Lady Gongshen were both masters of the sword. The medieval knights of Europe, for whom the sword was the embodiment of honor and godliness, were for a time considered invincible. The first book on swordsmanship was published in Spain, The Cradle of Fencing. At one time, fencing was a simple and honorable way for members of high society to resolve disputes. In their vanity, aristocrats would fight each other with swords, often over some trifling matter. During the 20 years from 1588 to 1608, it's recorded that 8,000 nobles were killed in duels in Paris alone. Subsequently, laws were introduced across Europe aimed at preventing such a waste of life. Eventually, fencing became a sport. The creator of the modern Olympic Games, Pierre de Coubertin, was himself a fine fencer. The foil and sabre were included as formal events in the first modern Olympics in 1896.